Hello, Miss Shelley. Hey, Shirley, I'm going to send you an email, hon, about the retreat. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hello, Joy and Beth. Hi, Shelly. Hello, Brian. Miss Ellie is here. Welcome, Sharon. Nothing wrong, Shirley. Just tell her uh, March 1st is final payment. March 1st is the final payment for the retreat. Somebody's got a bow in her hair. All right, we gotta show the bow. Gotta show the bow, Ellie. Here I am. Ellie. She got her bow. <laughs> She's a bad <good> girl. <laughs> She's raring to go. I thought I was the bow. I got her some new chewy rings, so we'll be all right tonight. She is getting so big. Porky. She's definitely, she's definitely a sack of potatoes now. She's porky. Right, let's see last week's paintings. Last week's paintings. A little better than the week before, must admit. Yeah, for sure. First one was a 12 by 16. Actually, that was, yeah, that was your first one. No, it wasn't. This was the first one. Come here, girl. This was. looking at the second one on the video. This one came out really cool. Not exactly what I was anticipating. I did it as a uh, dirty pour. Kind of lost my integration on it. Come on, pretty good though. <laughs> Which one did you do first? I followed with the brown, green. The brown recluse? This one here? Yeah, I think that was my second one. That was your second one? Yes. No, that was my my first one, sorry. I haven't played with the octagons too much. Hexagons. Not sure, Shirley.
This one was a five cup flip cup that I did. Some cool things that came out of this. That has uh, the new juniper in it, right? Yes. And did you use the bluebird too? Uh, I Gosh, I can't remember. I don't think I did. I thought I used the Carolina blue. And there's Maria. <laughs> she snuck in as we were talking about her. Not really, Maria. No one was talking about you. And then I use the same colors. Yeah, you like the palette on that. That's got the blue quartz in it. That's what it is. And the champagne. And a little bit of juniper. And I think we used a blue blue too. Oh, my, Brian. And then you got your tiles there. Yes. I have a little extra paint on that first one. There's nothing worse than wasting paint. So we took some prep tiles. Now, if you want me to try to do the puzzle and put it back together the way it was when I poured on it, <laughs> it could be here all night. We don't want to do that. So would you like to talk a little more about yesterday's event? No. No? No. <laughs> so I hope no one missed it anyway. Missed what? The great switcheroo part two. I can't even fit it up here, guys, but... We can give you some peekies. So this is going to be probably spray varnished. And then we'll uh, hang it up in our bedroom. And I'll post a picture in the group once I get it up. But it was a very fun event. And we got a lot of new subscribers that joined us after the event. Okay, baby. Let's get painting. Painting? Painting. We had a little debate prior to coming on live to try to prepare myself a little better so I don't waste anybody's time. Oh, great, Jan. I'm glad that was helpful. My heating pad dough rising hack. I don't like waiting hours for my dough to rise, so I just put a towel on heating pad and stick my bread dough on there. So I got a 12 by 12 canvas. Yes, Susan, it was fun. I had no stress because I did that painting like what, three or four weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, so I could have always redone it. <laughs> she was chomping at the bit too because it came out so good. She wanted to show everybody and it's like, I can't do it. So 
what I have here tonight tap, Maria. is a gadget from Brian. Eating pad goes below the bread dough. Sorry, I had to answer that question. All right, babe, got it. So, what would you call this little curly cute? It almost looks like a snail shell. I'm going to see what happens. He calls it a spiral. Definitely not a staircase, though. Could be a staircase to heaven. Paint choices. Modern Masters Sapphire. I'm going to try to use a couple of these older colors. The PBO Iridescent Violet Blue. Master Touch Purple. Brian says it's upside down. What's upside down? Must be the gadget. This? Hi, Nate. You can, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> Master Touch Light Purple. Lucas Indigo. And chroma molten metals barrage or perger perger silver? What the <laughs> you sure you didn't spell that wrong? No. I don't think I've ever used that color. I think it's full. I don't think anybody has it. It's gonna get used tonight. So I'm going to start off with the sapphire. Are you going to put a base coat down or no? No, nah, because I'm going to stretch it a little. I could put a base on the outside after it comes okay. out. And you have to use um, heavy doses of paint to get it. Yeah. Heavy doses? Yeah. Like I said, you may not have enough paint. You might have to add more. Hi, Tammy. And hello to everyone that I missed as I've been wandering around the studio. <laughs> Are you trying to bury your chewy? It's called an open bottom spiral kettle cup toy number four. <laughs> Brian has that in his Etsy shop. He's got a lot of great toys in his Etsy shop. It's item number 22751. <laughs> Ellen's going to give it a stock number, Brian. Brian just says number four. <laughs> Love the sound of emptying bottles. I hate the sound of emptying it's bottles. That many less on the wall. It's many that many more I gotta clean. Shirley, it's the Travel Lodge, Hill Devil Hills, if you want to look it up. I can send you a link in an email. Hi, 
I wouldn't say it's inexpensive though. But it is right across the street from the beach house. Hi love. Okay, got do one more round. Definitely gonna kill about three of these battles. It goes by season, Shirley. It's gotta be interesting when you stretch it out. No, Linda, she's not. Believe me, I would love to take her, but we can't have pets at the house, and I have too much to do while we're there, so I wouldn't really enjoy myself with her there, but I will FaceTime her every day. <laughs> uh, yes, it is, Tia. She wasn't so sweet Saturday, was she? <laughs> uh, Shirley, we'll be painting Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That way everything will be dry before we leave. Using them up tonight, guys. Three down. Face white. Just so I don't get any fold over. Subway because it sounds like the um, mail bottle. <laughs> so, Brian, let's see what we got underneath here. Yeah, I see that 
Dolphin Trunk. In center. I talked to her today on the phone, so she's still working on that china cabinet. And for those of you that may have just joined us or first or second time watching, I'm using a level one canvas. Relatively inexpensive. Good for those that are just starting out. Do something with that center. Well, welcome, Gretchen. I really thought that pink was going to get lost, but it's starting to show itself. So I'm curious to see what you're going to do with that middle now. I'm curious too. <laughs> I knew that was coming. A couple little clumps. So, 
what we're going to do with that center. You could swipe it in like a circle, a swirl or something to pull some of that. I guess it's indigo in there over the silver. It's like, don't hurt Gordy. <laughs> Gordy. Yeah, must be that's the name of the mouse that's in the They're naming him already? Brian did. We want to try to do a swipe. I know what I could do. Could use a couple of little right, of this. So she's looking right at you. <laughs> Ryan, say goodbye to Gordy. Curious to see if there's anything under here. Well, it's more opaque than the other color, so it's probably going to sit there. It makes some of the ones underneath pop up a little. Hi, Sam. I don't know if I should or shouldn't. I think I'm going to leave it. I still think you're starting to see some, some of the indigo from underneath popping up a little. Cells are developing a little. I think I'm going to leave it.
It's a pretty cool tool. I might have to use that again. What? Gadget of Brains. Oh, I Number thought you meant that color palette. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to refill those bottles. Piece number four. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Did you could plunk it. Well, that was good. You used up what? Three bottles of paint? Yay. Yay. Three more going back on the wall. It's three less. That means you got room for three more new colors. We have too many colors. That's the problem. We stand there and stare at the wall. <laughs> Plus our 40 new colors on top of it all, you know. So, yeah, that was great. Three down. One hundred and twenty to go. <laughs> right, Miss Ellie? Did you yes. eat all your chewy? Jugs to clean up. I got a ton of jugs. I uh, remixed 40 colors, so I have 40 dirty jugs on top of what was already there. So, giveaway time. We're going to do it and get it done. So today's vase to give away is, uh, these are the Christmas colors, right, that you used? I believe so. Yep. Ellie's Evergreen is in there, and the Black Ice, the Barn Red. I don't see any buttercream, though. But you did put gold in there, too. So this is the vase that's going up for grabs tonight. Alan's getting me a number. All you have to do is guess a number between 1 and 50. And if that number comes up, what we have on the paper, you will be a winner. And we will mail this out to you tomorrow. And it is stamped. And Alan signed his little signature. Last Monday of February. There's the number. So if everybody's ready, I hope everyone is refreshed and ready. Sure you're in live chat. Yes, please make sure you're on live chat. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. I need a guess the number between one and fifty. <laughs> there it is, Gloria. Gloria is our winner tonight. Number forty-three. You guys can stop. Write Gloria's name on there. Gloria, I might have your address. I'm not sure, but email me anyways at Christina Welch Art at yahoo.com. Ellen, I need one more number, please. So we're going to do our new colors. These are ready to pour, no silicone. All you got to do is pour them on your painting. Wait till everybody stops from the first one. Did you do the backwards, Brian? <laughs> 
eat from a big spit. <laughs> Don't you bark at me. No, ma'am. All right, come here. All right, Nelly. Up for bid. Up for bid is a beautiful little 12 pound Westie. <laughs> Kidding. Who bites her groomer. Straighten out that bow. <laughs> I need a number. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. <laughs> Shelly, I will just bring her to you. <laughs> come here, honey. No, don't be sniffing the microphone. All right, come here. No, don't take the paper either. So take it. Hi, Heather. So same thing, guys. Number between 1 and 50. If you're ready. Go. There it is. Go back, Ellen. You can't see. Scroll. Scroll. Sue Johnson. So Sue Johnson is our winner. The number was eight. Susan Johnson. Congratulations, Sue. Susan is going to get her color because this is Susan's heirloom, heirloom rose. What, you want my pencil or the paper? <laughs> Stinker pop. All right. So I'm going to be working on a 8x24. This is one of the edge canvases from Jerry's Artorama. So I can bring you guys this way a little bit. Oh, that was crooked. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, I love the 8 by 24s They're fun. As much fun as the 6 by 24s Well, I love the 6 by 24s because they're deep birch boards and they resin really well. Okay. Excuse me, girl. Under feet. So I'm going to do a flip and drag. What do you want? Where's your chewy? Did you eat it all already? It didn't last long enough. That's for sure. Half an hour? <laughs> she doesn't have any puppy teeth left. She's got all her adult teeth now. Because I haven't found any teeth on the floor lately. I just like to tilt it off because that way I make sure I don't have too much paint on the canvas. Here's his get her a comb. It lasts longer. Well, I haven't got her anything like that yet because. I get her one, I'm gonna to have to get Eddie one. You know kids are jealous. Yeah, sir. he's they big time share. jealous. And he doesn't have very many toothies, so. But he could lick peanut butter out of it. She gets bored really easy with stuff. Get 
even with me. Ellen had her all weekend because I would finish my taxes. And then yesterday, I, uh, after the great switcheroo, I unboxed all my stuff that came in this week because I hadn't touched any of it. Was there any good deals this weekend? Um, not really. I didn't buy anything this weekend. Go sit on daddy's lap. Go be a good girl. <laughs> there. That's the worst part of doing a flip and drag is getting that base down. I like it like perfectly level so my paint flows well. She did it. She hit it. I figured that half of it, right? Oh yeah, she'll attack you. So I'm going to put some WD-40 silicone spray in my cup. That's just to release paint. Um, says, I loved your pouring switcher. Thank you. Good night, Shirley. I'll email you, hon. So I like to rub it in so that I don't get, I don't need the silicone for cells. So I just rub it in so that the paint releases. So I love the color palette that we did last week with the Alchemy uh, Dark Forest and the Champagne. But I think I want to put, mm, I don't really want to go brown because when I pull it through the white, it's not as pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Lucas Gold Bronze in there. It's a darker gold. Because really what I want is the hint of the dark forest. So I'm going to put the Champagne Shimmer in first. This is one of our new spring colors. And then I'll do the dark forest. And the gold bronze. Boom. I love this color. It's one of my favorites from Lucas. It's expensive, but it's worth it. So I'm going to get just a little skewer to blend them in. And I'm going to flip it right here in the middle. some juniper in there but oh well <laughs> too late now all right so I'm gonna poke a hole and I'll give it to you so after you poke a hole your cup should start to rise up off that paint and it'll start moving so you know you're floating on top of the white When am I going to be in a live collab? Ah, that's funny. We do that every Monday night. Don't we? <laughs> that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> Are you? Can you imagine how nervous he would be? Oh my gosh. Nervous. Yeah. Thanks, All right, then we'll sign you up for a live collab. All 
Okay. Let's give some tilting. Let's see what we got. I'd like to see where all my paint's at. Okay, they're volunteering me and Brian. Oh, that would be fun. A guy's club. You and Brian and Rob and uh, Rob Smith. Saskia's husband. Yeah. That would be fun. Maybe we could even get Nate to do it. For a day. All right, so I opened some of that up. I have a lot of paint here, so I can't really stretch it that much more. Nope. <laughs> it's heading for the edge. Brad puts paint on the ceiling. You'll never let him live that down, will you? I didn't say that, I was just repeating. It was the shop. Oh, yes, he painted the ceiling. It was funny, though. <laughs> Brian was going to see his jay Yep, I watch all Rob's videos. I watch everybody's videos when I get a chance. Sharon wants to know what did you do to the bottom of the cup to make it float? I poked two little holes in it to let the suction out. So now I'm going to airbrush because I love to airbrush these. I see Ellie lost the top to my airbrush. She's a stinker. So I'm just going to pick and choose what I want to push out. Sometimes I'll find like really pretty spots that I just don't want to touch it with the airbrush. I leave them alone. Like here, I'll probably leave that. Boy, that gold is bold tonight. I love this green. Do you think Ellie's afraid that noise from that paintbrush? No. She's not. Not anymore, anyway. If she was, she's not anymore. Okay. Night, girl. I have been getting like slammed with emails and questions and questions and questions and I don't mind answering them, but it's just weird. I've never gotten that many emails before. I had like six today. It's nice to meet some of my viewers, you know, that way, but. She's so pretty here because I had it on. Let's go. <laughs> She's going to bite it. 
All right, I see some spots I want to pull out. You got some new stuff in the uh, collab, didn't you? <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. My chest has been heavy the past couple of days. I think I'm getting sick again. That's what happens when I go out in public. I should just stay home. Yeah, we did get quite a few new subs. Um, if you're one of my new subs and you're here tonight, make sure you check out my tutorial section. We have all kinds of techniques that we do. Why don't you do a live Q&A session? We are, are going to do that. Alan and I want to um, sit down and answer questions, but I want to do a video about it first so that you guys can put your questions in the comments, and then we'll pick like 20 questions and answer them. Brian says he has too many questions and no answers. I think this is going to roll over, so I'm going to stop it before he has a chance to do that. So what I do is just pull the paint off, and then I'll put a little bit of white there. Okay. Love this My weekend was more mixing paint. I did so much this weekend, didn't I? <laughs> and I think I mixed, what, 70 bottles of paint this weekend for orders and boxed up tons of orders. The laundry would just do it itself. You'd be awesome. Yeah, laundry's rough, guys. <laughs> I just do mine and Alan's. I think Alan's going to start doing his own. I don't even die. Then you got dog set. Uh, do she's good for me during the day. I mean, I don't. I can't get a lot done because she's under my feet, but she's getting better. She knows mommy's busy. She's starting to amuse herself. Well, I can't resin around her because I don't want her out here when I'm resining. Well, Shelly said she did her laundry today, so she's she's available this coming weekend. Oh, there you go, Alan. He's only got he's only got a couple loads, Shelly. I did them all. Stephanie says that's what she's doing now. I think I'm going to push this over, this edge here. Watch. Just look too empty there. So Sharon wants to know, what is this technique called again? This is a flip and drag. I've been doing these for years. And I never get tired of them. It's kind of my version of a Dutch pour, kind of, you know, when I blow it out with the airbrush. I have more control. But uh, I didn't freak out when I got Dutch pour for that switcheroo. I just thought, well, if I'm going to go do a Dutch pour, I'm going to go big. And I did. I went big. She didn't even have to go home because she was already there. I was already there. There. That one's done. I think maybe she 
she doesn't like laundry so much, so sometimes she just buys new clothes. That's what I do. <laughs> do you notice how she ran? She thought I was going somewhere. I'm right here, baby girl. So, Ellen, grab me four more. Four more what? I should pull skins, huh? They'd be pretty white ones. What am I missing? Yeah, she's not spoiled at all. <laughs> right here. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm going to give out one more set of paints tonight. Alan's going to make his number up. Numbers. <laughs> now this is probably these two here. Uh, I can't say it because I like them all. <laughs> I can't tell you which one's my favorite. And I definitely need to make more batches of these. I have none of this left, and I have none of this left. I'm low on that, too, so. Okay. Alan gave me a number. So, between 1 and 50, on your mark, get set, go. Yes, Melody Gable is our winner, number 16. Way to go, Melody. She's reading your mind, Alan. That's possible. So here's a new size for me. This is a 16 by 16. Wow, my camera's way off, isn't it? Can I bring it up just a little bit? So Jasmine wants to ask, she said, are you going to use the rose? And wonder what it combines well with. Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. Because <laughs> I want to see it too, because I didn't use it last week. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Now, do you have Melody's address? I think so. It doesn't hurt to send me an email. Makes it easier. I don't have to look it up. Um. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. All right. Let me grab it first. Let me see on my paint wall. Okay, so I definitely know the antique copper goes very well with that. It actually, that was weird. Lost my top, I don't know where it went. Let's put,
it's it's not easy, Brian, with this many colors. Because you turn around, it's like, ugh, where do you go? You put her in timeout. Where's timeout? Let's do. Any suggestions, guys? Thinking of blue too. What if we put that bluebird in there, or a dark indigo? Ah. Blue. Stephanie says teal. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to go with uh, juniper in this because I don't think. Oh, decisions, decisions. I never go through this ever. Usually it's very easy for me to pick out a color palette. I'm not a pink girl, so that's throwing me off. Hey. All right, Ellie. Yeah, she's got to go in. We'll give her to Jake. What if we did Victoria's Muscadine Wine? That's an idea. That's awfully close to that, though. Yeah, Payne's gray would look good. We could do moody blue. Let's pull Bluebird out. I shook it and I lost the spot. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Oh, I would never throw yellow in there with this. Mm -mm. The champagne will be our color. I don't have a yellow that's metallic -y enough to blend in with this. These are all pearled or metallic, so. All right, let's try that. Let's switch those around. Okay. I think I've got it. Okay, I'm gonna do a dirty pour, dirty ribbon pour. So you guys are probably saying, of course you are. <laughs> so this is a 16 by 16, so I think three cups would be plenty. I'm gonna set this forward. I'm not gonna spray those cups either. And I don't know if I want to put any white in there because the champagne is oh light. I shook that one hard. Here comes. I just love this color. And these all have silicone, so we will get cells.
normally I layer. I didn't layer this time. I'm just doing them like I was going to do a rink pour. So I will swirl those cups instead. Yeah, I like this color palette. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's play. Yummy. I don't know. I definitely want that heirloom rose to show up. It's kind of hiding under the antique copper. place some of that in there where I could get it in. Selmania. He's okay. Do you remember me saying, oh, it won't be a problem with a puppy here? <laughs> do you see any videos going up from me very often? <laughs> if I do put any up, they're going to be musical videos because did you hear her bark here? That's what I get when I'm filming. I've been trying to fake her out because I've been mixing paint over here. So I figure if I can fake her out, she'll think I'm mixing paint. But, you know, I don't talk to myself when I'm mixing paint. So. She thinks someone's up here that I'm talking to someone. She wants to see. Okay, get all that paint back in the middle because I'm going to that corner. I'm so glad that Moody Blue is still there. That is a very pretty color from our paint line as well. So we used all of our paint colors on this one. If you want to see these colors up close, they're in my Etsy shop. That link is in the description. And the girls post it throughout the live chat. Just got to get 
over this edge. And then we need to bring it all back. So when you're bringing your paint back, try to get your cells back the way they were and they're not wonky. I'm going to go this way just a little bit because I want to get just a little bit more off. All back again. So I have a lot of that heirloom rose here, and it's mixed in between the antique copper. So let me wipe my hands. We're going to torch it. See if anything else will come up through the moody blue. My moody blue has a lot of mica in it, so it may uh, sink a little and still give me more cells. I missed a corner here. I missed all the corners, didn't I? Yeah. That was bad. Me green over here. Okay. So it is popping. And the juniper is coming up through it and the heirloom rose, which is pretty. Ooh, gorgeous. That one's gorgeous. <laughs> what did I miss? Everything. Look at that. Isn't that pretty right there? Tiles prepped. I only have three. I need to go grab another box out of the art shed. All right, close up. So I'm thinking about um, maybe doing some art kits where we will do a video um, with you, um, you don't have to buy the kit, um, but I would do that, you know, for the, the newbies that don't have colors yet and, uh, want to follow along with the exact stuff that we're using. I talked about this with Nate like two years ago about doing art kits when we, when we were doing our Monday night lives. So we could do like a pour with us thing. But I have to wait until probably the middle of March before I do something like that. I think we're good. See all my edges are covered. I'm just trying to think where I'm going to put it because it's 16 by 16. I think it will fit next to Alan's. We usually do 14, so 16's hot for us. All 
right. Mm. So pretty. I don't even have a paper to put it on, do I? Or do I? Ah, 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 ah. Found one. And he must have thought I was talking to somebody. I just have to grab this skin. It's too pretty not to. I got room for this little bit here too. He was pretty too. So I should be able to get a necklace and a pair of earrings out of that. <coughs> she took her bow out. Yeah. You take your bow out, Miss Ellie. Your hair's not quite long enough yet to hold it in there, huh? It's been a while since you've done skin. Yeah, I was into that whole dip in the cabs thing, but jewelry just does not sell, guys. Not for me, anyway, because I don't do craft shows. So if you do craft shows, more power to you probably sell lots of jewelry no no and um, you know you can only give so much away for gifts and you guys know how much I paint so I have boxes and boxes of those skins hey Canela Being a bad girl tonight. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day when she's like bored with us. She doesn't care what we're doing. It's, does that day ever come? Will that day ever come? Here. Go talk to the girls while I grab a canvas. <laughs> come here. Yes, that's the mic. Don't bark into it. <laughs> so let's do, let's do a Boilermaker. We haven't done one of those in a long time. Hello, girlfriend. What do you want? She wants paint. So we've been buying her cat colors because they have a bell in it. I know where she's at all the time. We are on the last notch. So you better stop growing. <laughs> All right, beat it. Go on. <laughs> she walks right to him like, that's my dad. Yeah, a tail swipe, that would be cute. <laughs> you could do a tail swipe. She's adorable. I can't ever be mad at her. And when she does something bad, I'm like, oh, Allie, no. Why do you do that? Why does my baby girl do that? I love you, baby girl. <laughs> that's what that's how I yell at her. <laughs> All right. Noisy. My last shot glass. I need to buy some more because I already packed two of them for the retreat. Let's do I'm looking at all the colors that I have for base coats. Let's do black ice base.
Let me stir that. Let me have to stir that up. So this has, um, it's, it's lamp black and with bronze mixed in it. And a little bit of brass. It's like three or four different paints mixed together to get there with the gold mica. Okay. Uh-uh. Is that a bug or was it a drop? Well, we'll find out when we pour it, won't we? <laughs> okay, so now we need some color. Ellen, you want to pick my colors? I'm not doing ketchup and mustard. Bella. They're your favorite condiments. No, they're not. I don't like either one of them. All right, let's do, we'll do some lemon lime, because we want to see color. Hi, Tammy. And we will do, let's throw some of that oak art blue quartz in there, because that's really shiny when it dries. And we... Let's put Susan's heirloom rose in there. And some juniper. What the heck? Or should we put champagne instead? Maybe I should take this lemon lime out and do the four. Well, it's not really the four, but let's do that. <gasps> so indecisive. that champagne on there. This heirloom rose is so pretty. I'm going to be mixing batches again because I keep selling it out. So One more shot of that blue quartz in there before I dunk it. Okay. Did Brian say something that I missed? Did you get your paints yet, Diane? Okay, bro. This is what I call a boiler maker. I've been doing these for a while. Um, I think the first one I did was like in 2019. Been a while. It's like one of my little techniques that I brought out. So what I'm doing now is pushing that black in there and trying to grab some of the color out. Hi, Kath. It's okay, honey. We know you're busy. 
Okay, let's torch it. Just warming that paint up so when I stretch all those cells up. Okay, we should have just enough paint to play. I didn't want to overdo it. Although I might have a little. But you know how black likes to eat color up, so. Definitely didn't want to have um, too much paint on there. I see that little clump of something there. I'm having an awful time with my edges tonight, aren't I? <laughs> What's up with that? All right. Let's not play around anymore. Let's show it who's boss. I think I got them all. Let's give it a little more composition. And that little puddle off of there. right where I want it. It's very pretty. That juniper, they're all there. All the colors are there. We have the champagne, the juniper, the heirloom rose, the blue quartz. Everything showed up for the party. Those air bubbles. does look corally, doesn't it? All right. There was still quite a bit of juniper left in that shot glass. But we had two layers of it. Wipe my edges and I'll give you a close up. So lazy, isn't it? Can't wait to see this one dry. 
Oh, that batch of color right there is so pretty. Yeah, this one's going to be pretty when it's dry. I hope we don't lose all that color, though. Let's see. I've got room for one more. So those were all, well, three of those were Parage Posse paints. The uh, blue was Folk Art Treasure, Blue Quartz. I love that color. Brian's, or, yeah, Brian. <laughs> Alan's keeping Ellie occupied. So I'm watching the screen and painting. I think Brian said he wanted to see you do a Starburst. <laughs> okay, I got a 16 here. <coughs> I'm a neat freak, Julie. I'm sorry. It's just, it's bad. I have like an OCD thing with my painting area. It's horrible. But not my studio. <laughs> just my painting area. What do you mean it's horrible? Because I, I don't have that same technique. Yeah, he makes me a little nervous when he paints. Because I have to wipe everything off. Like this. Like what? The torch <laughs> with all the paint on it. Okay. I'm trying to think what I want to do with this round. <laughs> Something we haven't done in a while. What haven't we done in a while, Al? Um, I did this... Um, was it two weeks of techniques? And it ended up being four weeks of techniques because that's how many painting techniques are out there. Because um, we did cloud pours, we did um, the pearl cells, we did, oh gosh, flower, the bottle bottoms. We did a lot. We haven't done a bottle bottom. Yeah, I did one, not 20. We could do a triple. You guys want to do a triple bottle bottom? Because I have the big ones still. Brian, if I see Stardust, Stardust come up, I'm going to block you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't have any paint mixed up for Dutch pour, unfortunately. I like to mix them the night before so that the bubbles come to the top. We can do that maybe some other Monday night. So let me see if I have, I don't think we have the little mini um, bottle bottoms anymore, do we? We used to have the mini, the little, I have this one. Is it the hint bottle we use after that? I have two, I need one more. See if Alan's got any in his toy box. His box of treasures. No, that's not. That's the same size. That's better. I want it. I'll take it. <laughs> we did this. I think I threw them all away. <laughs> 
Yes, because I cleaned it before I got to go. Alright, so let's get that idea. Let's do this instead. Alright, I changed my mind. I'm going to do a kiss for Only because... I can't Pick find I can't find what I want. Because I love you. Yeah. You know it. You know it, Bobby. Okay. That's not a very nice combo. It's actually got <laughs> resin on it. All right, so let's do a kiss pour. I think I'm just going to do the hot and cold because, well, you know, warm and cool colors. <laughs> I say hot and cold. Oh, we don't want silicone. of the ocean teal. Bumblebee yellow. Orange marmalade. Balance red. Carolina blue. And turquoise. Sleeping Beauty turquoise. That should work. Brian's got to be nobody move. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Hurry up, Brian. We haven't got all night. Isn't that like a running joke on all the lives? Brian, stop me right back. Everybody said, yeah, to go pee. <laughs> it used to be, oh, I got to flip my laundry. <laughs> it all, came, all the truth comes out now. Okay. Let me switch these around. I'm going to move this forward and move my cups up so you guys can see me squirt those colors in. That's true, Linda. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's go. Bumblebee yellow. Orange marmalade. Alan's red shimmer. Here. Wait for the paint to come down. This bottle's getting empty. No. <laughs> we haven't washed an eight ounce bottle yet, have we? I wonder if our brush will fit down in there. All right, so that's about five ounces of paint. I think we'll be okay. So I did three layers, correct? Or did I do four? I'll find out when I do the other side. Okay. And then this corner is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Gorgeous color, by the way. Ocean Teal. This is from our spring line from last year. Carolina Blue Shimmer is one of our originals. Thank you. 
Uh oh. Hope I got enough to do one more on that one. It is, but not when I'm in the middle of a painting, it's not. And I need that color. Yay. I love refilling bottles when I have time. All right, that looks about even. So I'm going to put it on here. I may end up spinning it out. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it plays. Kiss, kiss. Okay, Played. I couldn't go any farther with those cups. I think we'll spin it out. Let's get messy. Did I say that? <laughs> Did I just say that? I heard it. <laughs> Did I say that? All right, let me put my shower cap on my spinner. Got one on the bottom. So we're good there. Nice thing I like about these 16 inch rounds is they fit right over the top of this spinner. And yes, we're going to get messy. So I'm going to push this aside. I'm going to grab a cardboard to protect that area over there. <laughs> and one for the front of me. <coughs> Okay. Oh, my canvas is not bad. All right, let me put a piece of tape there because I think it's sliding. the spinners on sale. I should buy another one. Oh. Yeah, Brian, I see that now. Okay. Everybody can see it now. My blender. Oh, now I have some more bubbles. I have a feeling the red's going to take over. Oh, I did it with my finger that time. 
All right, this is not fuel. Because I think I see a clump too. Uh, where'd that come from? That was from the yellow. I can fix it. Okay. Let's make some more mud. Was that, was that wimpy or what? <laughs> I'm nervous about whipping it. It's not like when we do blooms and it's house paint, it doesn't fly. This stuff flies. I'm scared. I'm not scared. I just have to get it over the edge, though. Because I don't want to lose the blue. See it? There's not a lot of blue though. The red and yellow. The hot side took over. Babe, are you up? No, never mind. I just wanted you to grab this turntable. I got it. I got it. I just want to shift this blue down a little bit. Just walking it down so I don't get off. The spinner works great for um, getting your excess paint off evenly. It's that centrifugal force. So I'm going to leave it right there because I think it's cool. Definitely will be beautiful resin if it dries well. I am shutting the heater off before I even go in the house tonight. I have no resin curing. I have nothing on out here that I need the heater on for. Because <laughs> otherwise, the heat in the studio will dry the top and the bottom won't dry as fast and it'll crack. So if you're getting cracked paintings, that's probably why. It likes a nice slow drying, cooler drying. All right, let me give you a close up. Oh, I should probably wipe my undies off a little better. So we got some nice rings on that. And I'm not I'm not hating that center. It looks like a little alien to me. <laughs> I'm right here. Is that what your name is, little alien Ellen? So that's cool. I'll accept that one. It's pretty, isn't it? It is. Okay, guys. Um, I'm thinking about running a coupon sale on Etsy for paints. <coughs> I'm starting March 1st. <coughs> sorry. I get the goops. I'm sorry. So, um, I'll, I will probably post that on my Christina Welch art page as well as in the Paraj Posse group. If you're not a member of the Paraj Posse group and you're a subscriber... Come join us on Facebook. Um, you can post your artwork there. You can see other people's artwork. And we post what's going on. If I put up a new video that gets, you know, posted. Um, we have a painter's retreat coming up in May. No, that's We just let everybody know what's going on. 
with uh, the channel as well, uh, especially paint sales. So if you are, if you've been buying paint from us or you want to start buying paint from us, we sell it um, in the ready to pour bottles, but we also sell it in jars like this. You get five ounces of paint and it will make two of this size bottle if you mix it correctly. So you'll get yourself 22 ounces of pouring paint or you can mix it your way. Some people, it's a very strong pigment. You don't need a lot of paint to get the color. There's several artists that have used this on their channel. Uh, Sarah Mack, Kathleen Osmore from Cause Creations, um, Tammy Anderson. There's quite a few. I can't even list them all. Um, Krista Rasmussen, she's the one that sells the mixed pouring medium and she uses just one dab of that color to her seven ounces, seven parts of mix. So um, check all that out. Um, we'll be back here next Monday. We are still talking about the St. Jude auction. Tentative date is April 4th. Um, if I have all my finished work done and that's what I'll be doing this week. That's why I got everything finished up this week. <laughs> so Stay tuned. Ellie, come say bye. <laughs> yeah, Brian uses them. I'm sorry, Brian. I should have said that. Brian always uses them on his channel. Come say bye. Can you say bye? Say bye, girls. See you next week. As she bites me. <laughs> she wants to do a tail swipe. Yeah, I gotta get I don't want to get her too close. She might do a tail swipe. Alright guys, see you next week. Love you all. Have a great evening. Bye now.